Hi, how are you? 小朋友你好嘛？今堂我哋学 some connectives to make a passage coherent. We also call these words these cross markers or transitions. There are many types of connectives, such as connectives of time, connectives of cause and effect. Now, look at the passage on the board. I would like you to put these conjunctions about time. Then, after, finally, when, in the passage. Where are their appropriate places? I made a plan for getting enough sleep at night. I eat supper. I play for a while. I take a warm bath. I finish bathing. I put on my pajamas and climb in bed. I read a good book. Reading makes me sleepy, and I usually fall right to sleep. Let's do together. I made a plan for getting enough sleep at night. After I eat supper, I play for a while. Then, I take a warm bath. When I finish bathing, I put on my pajamas and climb in bed. Finally, I read a good book. Reading makes me sleepy, and I usually fall right to sleep. There are also connectives of events. Like so, therefore. No, a passage too. Put the connectives of time and events into the right place. Many people say breakfast is the most important meal. You wake up in the morning. Your body has gone eight hours without food. It needs food for energy. In fact, without food, your brain and body will have a hard time getting started. You might do poorly at school. It's a healthy breakfast. Let's do it. Many people say breakfast is the most important meal. When you wake up in the morning, your body has gone eight hours without food. Therefore, or so, it needs food for energy. In fact, without food. Your brain and body will have a hard time getting started. Then, you might do poorly at school. Therefore, or so, it's a healthy breakfast. Another type of connectives, so contrast, such as although, yet, but. In such connectives, first, then, although, and finally, you may need to add commas and change some capital letters into a small case. You grovel down a bowl of cereal for breakfast. You go to school. While at school. You do math, go to PE, and read the book. All of a sudden, 
Your tummy starts growling. You ate breakfast. You want to eat again. Your teacher says it is snack time. Let's do it. First, you gobble down a bowl of cereal for breakfast. Then, you go to school. While at school, you do math, go to PE, and read the book. All of a sudden, your tummy starts growling. Although you ate breakfast. You want to eat again. Finally, your teacher says it is snack time. <laughs> Exercise. In such connectives, first, next, then, and finally, you may need to add commas and change some capital letters into small case. It is easy to make a healthy snack. Clean two stalks of celery. Cut the celery into pieces about. Three inches long. Use a knife and spread peanut butter in the middle of the celery. Sprinkle some raisins on top. This snack is called "Ant on a Log." This is the end of the lesson. See you.